Right, okay, this is everything you need to know about pin checks, fringe checks, fixed position checks, slider percentages, adjustments, and that kind of thing. All based on the plus yards. So the first thing you need to understand is each ball has a power attribute. Power zero through to power five. And the different percentages are shown when you click on each ball. Right there. So power five ball has 13% extra on top of a power zero ball so all that means is that if you take the sniper 172 yards with a power zero ball that's what that means so if you're using the sniper with a basic ball or a power zero ball the maximum distance before you start to pull into overpower is 172 yards now, 172 yards, <clears throat> if you're using a power five ball, you'll need to plus 13%. That makes 194 yards. So that means you've got an extra 22 yards with a power five ball. So you have the, the same range of 172, but once you get to 172, you will then be able, in game, you will be able to extend forwards without going into overpower a further 22 yards. So 172 times 0 0.013, sorry, 0 0.13, that's 13%, that's 22.36 yards. So each ball has a different um, percentage. Power 1 is 3%, power Two is five percent. Power three, for example, is seven percent. Power four is ten percent. Power five is thirteen percent. So how does that relate to pin checks and fringe checks and plus yards and slider percentages? Well, I'm going to explain. So moving on to one of my um, guides that I've produced. We have a two-page guide for hole six in the previous tournament. So we have a blast drive where you're going to set up there and you're going to um, power slice. There's a few uh, wind angles and different spins for different wind angles, but it should get you to round about sort of 540 yards, 520 yards to 586 yards. And it's a really inconsistent drive. But the reason that we went with it is because the second shot was uh, pretty, pretty simple, to be honest, to drop uh, rather than trying to dial in a longer range, uh, long iron or something like that. So in this instance, if your drive is less than 554 yards, you need to use this half of the guide if it's more than 554 we need to use this half of the guide and that's because on this side we've got a pin check and a back fringe check and on this side we've got plus yards at landing and a front fringe check so longer shots on the left shorter shots on the right and we have different slider percentages for each one of those so um what i'm going to do is show you one of the shots, I'll just try and find the right shot. So in this instance, this was the first time that I played this shot. So I've hit the slice, got up there, and then the next thing I do is just have an eyeball of whereabouts in the Thorns club range I'm sitting. And luckily, I'm sitting right at plus 11 on the pin. So I've got a pin check number. But obviously I'm not going to play there and I'm going to set up somewhere around here. So what we need to find out is where the club's maximum is. I know it's there because that's where it flicks over to the grizzly. Where the club's minimum is, you sh you'll see in a minute it's down here. So maximum, minimum, and I'm going to set up right there, which is round about 50 
percent so you'll see that right now so that's maximum quite lucky that i dropped on a pin check straight away and i'm going to pull back and there you can see minimum so just eyeballing 50 percent don't have to be exact just eyeball it set the spins I like to go with a couple of backspin on the thorn. So there we go, setting the slider to 50%. So what we've got there is 15% elevation, 6.4 rings at 50%. Now, if I think that I've over adjusted here, pulled a bit too far then what I will do is the next time I play it just pull that slider down and adjust because I mean I'm, I know I'm somewhere around about 50% club or you can play with the elevations and play maybe 10 or 15% or something like that now this is a tailwind shot so there is a margin of error on this but I'll show you a crosswind shot in a moment So I made the adjustment, got the drop on the first attempt uh, with this one. So then if I had have missed or felt like I, uh, you know, I'll check the position of the first bounce, the second bounce and check that it ties up with how I set up. Um, if it doesn't, then I make the requisite adjustment to the slider numbers for the next time. So I will pin check and if I get plus 11 again, I'll then know. To, um, to drop back a couple of percent, maybe play 46% instead of 40, 50% uh, or something like that. <clears throat> so moving on to a different shot, this is uh, a crosswind shot, and this is where it becomes really important. And this was, as you see, in practice. And here you can see, using the plus yards <clears throat> at the landing position, so if I was to push forwards up to there, this plus yards would probably say something like plus 12. And if I would get up to the pin, it'd probably be near, it'd probably just over maximum. I probably can't reach the pin. So what I'm doing is I'm gauging the plus yards at the landing position. Now going back to the um, calculator on this one the calculator tells me 172 13 percent that's sniper and a power five ball we have 22 yards so <clears throat> with that in mind i know that if this plus yard doesn't say plus four and it says plus 22 that means I need to be at 100% on my sniper. So 7.8 plus 5. There you go. Now, for every yard difference, so if that's plus 22 or plus 21 or plus 20 or plus 1 or plus 7 or whatever, what you have to do is work out um, how, to, how to work out that slider. So what you do is... The maximum range of the sniper, which is 172, plus 13%. So we know that's 194, 36, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we have to work out the minimum. So 135 plus 13% equals 152, 55. So we have 194, 36. Which is right there that's maximum range minus the minimum range so 194 36 minus 152 um, 55 I'll just try and remember that because I'm gonna go off it in a minute so I'm gonna have uh, 194 36 minus 
um, 152.55, so max minus min. That will give me the range. So when I'm using the sniper, uh, with a power five ball from absolute max to absolute min, without going into overpower or anything, I have 41.84, 41.81 yards range. Now, that relates to plus yards uh, using this slider. <clears throat> so caddy or notebook uses a slider. It's obviously percent means in Latin, cent means 100. So it's 100 divisions. So 100 um, divided by 41.81 will give me the slider percentage. So I'm going to do that right now. 100 divided by 41.81 equals <clears throat> 2.39. So, <clears throat> 2.39, let's call it 2.4. So that means every time that this plus yard changes from plus 4 to plus 3 to plus 2 to plus 1, that's 2.4% on your slider. I generally work on 2.5% because if you can get within 10 yards... Uh, that point oh one, uh, that point one. Sorry, um, it's it works out at the minimal percentage, but it's around about two point five for a sniper with a power five ball. For a thorn with a power three ball, it's two percent. For a cataclysm with a power five ball, it's two percent. Because there's a bigger range. Um, it's a longer club, so there's a bigger range from max to min. So that means that the this number works out differently. So one hundred and eighty. Uh, if I say 180 plus 13 percent, that's cataclysm with a power five, 203 minus what did I say? 150, um, 152.55, basically 50. So 100 divided by 50.85, which is the slider, 100 percent divided by 50.5, 50.85. Divided by 50.85, that'll give me basically 2%. So with the cat and a power 5, it's 2%. With the slider, sniper, sorry, and a power 5, it's just short of 2.5%. So I will know to set this slider based on certain plus yards. Now, if we're not in range <clears throat> to hit those plus yards, what I might do is pick a fixed position. This is a shot with the Goliath, where you'll see at landing, we have plus 16 right there. So we can work it back from the maximum. But if we go a little bit further and those plus yards are not visible there, then we need a fixed position. Fixed positions can be the pin, the fringe, the back fringe, a bit of rough, a tree, corner of a bunker, absolutely anything that's fixed on that golf course. Because then what you'll do is you'll clock your, I'm just using that rough, the corner of the rough patch, to clock those plus yards, plus 11. And I know that when I pull back to this position, I'm not going to see any plus yards. So I've not got any visible scale to work from. But if I work them out here, it will relate back to here. So I'll take a shot, I'll eyeball it, I'll think, well, that's 60% slider or something like that. And then if I miss ever so slightly, um, if I miss ever so slightly, then um, I know that I need to adjust the slider. So on this example, 7.8 wind, <clears throat> I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. You'll see I play 55, let's have a look, 57% slider, 7.8 wind. So that's 8.0. I'm setting up left edge. And I make the adjustment. Hit perfect. And on this instance... 
coming to the right. So the next thing to do is to adjust those slider percentages Based on the miss, I will then recalculate, add a couple of percent to each, or add elevation, or set up in a different position, right edge, left edge, or something like that. With the plus yards at landing, it is an absolute, it's an exact, so you count back from max, so you know exactly where you are. But if you are doing a pin check, there is quite a bit of estimation involved. So, like I say, if you're clocking the plus yards at landing, then you should be able to get it absolutely cock on. Um, so after missing, just messing about with the setup, make the requisite adjustment, and then we find that we can drop it on the second attempt. And that's just from trial and error and dialing in. But with the... Um, plus yards at landing you'll see on this one there's no plus yards where I land so I'm estimating that it's 50% and if I was slightly out then I would just tweak a couple of percent for the next time but then like I say each time you play that shot you know that you can move the target up to the pin find the plus yards and then work out so quickly do your pin check let's say there pin check plus 11 is 50 percent if you get um plus 11 like i do on the shot that i've just showed you you know to play 50 percent if you get plus one, we can work that back because it's 10 yards difference. And we know that 10 times 2% is 20. So it's very, very simple. 20% from 50% is 30%. So then if you get plus one, we set that slider down to 30%. And for 7.8 wind, we play 3.6. And that's how it's done. And I hope that makes sense. Uh, it makes sense to me, in my mind. I've been doing this for a lot of years. I've been doing slider charts and whatever for... Uh, as long as I've been playing tournaments, really, before I made guides or anything like that. I've been doing this for, for the clans that I've been in. Finding shots, finding ways to dial in. Uh, so it's sort of second nature to me and I am very, very good at maths. I'm an engineer by trade, so um, maths comes very, very easy to me. I can, I can sort of uh, calculate things very easily. So that's the reason that I can do this re relatively easily. But um, what you really need to understand is that it is an exact science. And the guys that uh, do extremely well in this game and dial in shots like this, uh, it's, not, it's nothing to do with luck. It's uh, precision, accuracy and trial and error. And that's the main thing is trial and error. Um, if it doesn't work, just tweak it until it works. And that's why we spend hours and hours and hours making these guides and making, um, you know, YouTube videos and PDF guides and everything else, myself and other guys that do it. It's um, it's a fine art. It's very taxing on the mind. You know, you, th you, um, you spend hours just looking at numbers and sometimes they just turn into a blur. Uh, so that's why, um, that's why we put out the, uh, the guides so that, other people don't have to spend hours and hours doing that. I um, hope it helps. Any questions, feel free to drop me a message or whatever. Happy to answer questions as ever. Uh, a little bit busy over the next few days, but if you do want to ask me a question, I'll do my best to answer. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. And do me a favour, hit subscribe.
smash the thumbs up. It'd help me out. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.